Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Today I want to talk about a deck that I've been playing a bit. I'm calling it Back Alley Poker. You're a Twisted Fate deck and you've got tons of... Th this deck to me, it kind of feels like a Shadow Islesy version of Swain Twisted Fate is what I would call this. So I'll, I'll give us a quick run through real quick. So your two champions are Elise and Twisted Fate. Elise is just kind of a solid attacker in the early game. She gives you chump blockers and she pressures pretty hard if your opponents like aren't prepared for her. Uh, and she's so cheap that she's just, she's just very good at, at building a board and keeping you kind of protected in the early game. So that's what you play her for. You do have like a small spider sub theme with two vile feasts, but that's about it. I wouldn't even call it a sub theme. You very rarely evolve Elise. That's not really what her, what she's for. She's just as a 2-3, she comes down, she makes a spider, and then that's probably about it. Maybe she gets another attack in. The, the chump blocking spider is just really solid because they let you make uh, other units weak. So you have your Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate is going to be one of your... I, I, you're not always going to be evolving him, but you will evolve him like relatively often, and he is a solid win condition. Your your deck is built to like rapidly level him up. If you look through your deck, your, de your deck is built around Go Hard. So your deck is really trying to level up Twisted Fate really quickly, and it's trying to play a bunch of Go Hards and level and get them to a pack your bags, because pack your bags is your win condition. It's between Twisted Fate and pack your bags; those are your two win conditions. So between those cards, you have your card draw. You got your pool sharks. They just cheap, efficient. They block. You got Glimpse Beyond. You can sacrifice into Glimpse Beyond. Fortune Croaker. You can go pool shark into Croaker. You get a nice curve. You really don't want to go cool pool shark on one, but like. That, that is like, a, that's what a, a solid thing for it is that it's just so cheap you can cycle more cards with the Kroger with it or the, with the Glimpse Beyond. You have your Salvages, you have your Zaps, and that's all your card draw, but that is quite a bit. You're going to be quickly cycling through your deck in a lot of games. To continue to fight for the board, you do have Jagged Butcher. Jagged is great because he can, he curves into that Fortune Croaker. He kind of helps out your, you, you're not like, you're not really an aggro deck, but you are kind of like a tempo deck. And you're able to you're able to get some like some nice pressure like the same way that twisted fate swain was able to and that that deck would like play out a bunch of stuff and have a bunch of tutus and just kind of beat you up while controlling your board this deck will do kind of the same thing and that's what jagged butcher is good at for like kind of helping you beat things up helping you block it can become a three three to block fearsomes which is very solid for the one mana if, uh what else is there that's a lot of the units. We are playing Doom Beast. I think Doom Beast is kind of an MVP in this deck. Just because, uh, like I said, he blocks Fearsomes. We are in a, a pretty Fearsome heavy meta, I would say. We, you run into Fearsomes pretty often on the ladder at this point. So just having another u unit that can block Fearsome is pretty useful. And there's so much aggressive stuff in the meta that the that the drain and gain for two is so useful. It, hel it helps you close out the game, and it also keeps you safe. And it also helps you pressure once you got those tempo those tempo boards going. So I think Doom Beast is quite good. I'm never upset to have this card really. And then you have your removal spell pa package. And I'm playing two Crumble, two Vengeance, one Ruination. I'm not 100% that this this uh, suite of spells is correct, but I'm very happy with how it's been performing so far. Um, Crumble is it's slow, but it's uh, I'll, I'll often um, like make suboptimal crumbles like because I'm somewhat afraid of my opponent having some kind of removal spells. So Crumble is a kind of card you have to be a little uh, a little cautious when playing because it is easily interacted with. But it's five mana, and a lot of people don't really play around this card. They're used to seven mana Vengeance, but they're not used to five mana Kill Your Thing. So you can do some pretty some pretty spicy things with the Crumble. Um, and yeah, like Vengeance is basically Crumble, just fast speed. And then you have one Ruination just as a catch-all. I lost the board and I don't have access to, to pack your bags yet, you have one Ruination. And you draw so quickly through your deck very often that you'll, you'll find the one Ruination if you really needed it in a lot of spots. I'm really not 100% that Ruination's right, because you can't even play it if you draw it off of a Pool Shark. It's like one of the few cards that like is really difficult to cast off Pool Shark. Vengeance is also kind of tricky to cast, but... 7 mana is much more reasonable than 9. But that is about it for this deck chat. If you do enjoy the deck and you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, uh, hit that follow button, all that jazz. And hey, maybe I'm streaming right now. You should go check out my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Sarah. You can find me there. And I hope you guys enjoy the games. We have some pretty cool ones for you. I think this deck is really great. I, I hope you guys enjoy. See ya. 
Nice. Nice. Dude, it just it crushes boards. Because Gohard is just so cheap. Gohard is really good. Maybe I should be keep kicking back Pool Shark on one. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not playing it here for sure. Every time I hear that quote, it reminds me of a meme I saw, where it's just um a bird, and it says on the top it says like, when you have a lease, and it says come closer, and and then on the bottom it uh, and it's just like um it's just a bird just chilling in some shoes, and then on the the, the other text says I don't bite, and then the bird's just losing his mind, and the the eyes are like. The fire eyes, you know what I'm talking about, chat. You know what I'm talking about when I say the fire eyes, like the the red eyes. <laughs> Royal Flush, TF is your win con. That's a cool name, Royal Flush. Oh, this poor fellow, dude. I had the second one. I had the second one, bud. <laughs> All of his aggression, dude, just gone. Sack and draw. That's fine. I still shuffle him in my deck. Red Eyes Black Dragon, that's the one. This hand is kind of weak. Double Crumble isn't exactly what you want in this spot. I don't want to show him that our hand is weak here. Oh, poor fellow. Our last two opponents missed this on turn four. I'm not complaining or anything, but you gotta you gotta feel a little bad for him at least. Just draw here. TF and a keg would be really good. That's a keg. I think we're down to just send it with everything. This is going to force out something from him, right? He's got a block or something to keep himself healthy. Is that is it just these two that you're blocking with and then you take all of it? I kind of think that makes the most sense.
This card just like nickel and dimes them out of the game, dude. I want vaults to be good so bad. It'll be amazing in a legacy format. It's just that it needs more cards. Right now, it just doesn't have anything to go along with it. And it might never get, like, the specific cards that it needs, but it probably does at some point, I would think. Thankfully, he didn't have a skitter also. Oh, I'm alive like this. I mean, we're still alive, even if his last card is forever. All right, now go hard should win. Say yikes, bud. <clears throat> Did any get any, any new students from the Reddit post? No, but a few people joined the Discord server, which is pretty cool. 